Stegosaurus skeleton, Taurus delight, Punter's poison, a mature doorstop. Call it what you will, but what you're looking at is a bona fide bone. Well, that's two of them rickety vertebrae checked off. Sure, look, kiddos will dig it. Well, now you've seen a few of them tumble-down dinosaur bones, you'll have a better idea why the kiddos like them. I still don't. I'm taking a good look at these bones, and I still don't see the appeal, Buck. Don't get me wrong, you're almost home and doing great. Maybe I'm warming up to these stegosaurus bones. That last one didn't look too bad. Well, for a bone, that is. You're done. Come on home. Ah, well then, well then. Looks like Mr. Bigfoot's back in the park. If you can find me any more, I'll put it in the visitor center next to the pond music and the fairy parties. Has Mr. Bigfoot been? Or perhaps Mrs. Bigfoot? <laughs> Too gone. You 
sure about that sport? You're telling me you've seen more of that Bigfoot business? <laughs> Four down. I don't know how you're putting up with this fool's errand, Buck. Patience of a saint. Two left. That's just the sort of weed we're looking for, Buck. Sally will be rip rearing ready for introductions in no time. I even made her little business cards. Quarter of them oxides sorted. We'll be pulling out the daisies in no time, Buck. Half of them oxides done and dusted. I'll start revving up my girl Sally and she'll chew right through them. Three quarters through. Not many more of them stinking daisies, Buck. But a hell of a lot more than Sally has mercy. of them bleeding oxides. Sally can't wait no longer, but I got time, so see me when you can. Oh, that's a GPS doohickey. Sensitive to a fault, and it looks like this one's kaput. Keep an eye out for more if you can. too close to any of them GPS stations. Them machines will make your brains run clean out the back of your skull, Buck. Careful your eyes don't pop straight out of your head there, Buck. Those future space machines sure are terrifying. You 
just missed the flying car, Buck. But these next few GPS stations make up for it. I hear they can detect a drop of blood in the ocean and they can move at the speed of sound. The only thing they can't do is check themselves. Future is now, Chickadee. Come and see me. Have you tried giving it a good kick? Actually, scratch that and I'll come on down and hoof it myself. Can you find me any more? What's the forecast down there, Buckaroo? Something like a quarter way through? Well, keep it up. Halfway through all those robots here, Buck. Should be able to get a good reading at the end of this. Will help us keep the park nice and tidy. And for that, I thank you. Just a quarter of those measly weather stations left, Buck. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this ain't even half of all the weather stations we got here in the park. We run a tight ship, at least as far as that's concerned. That's all the weather stations on the ground, Buck. Come back to me. We might have a little something else for you. Well, butter my butt and call me toast. It's another moldy tree. The visitors will love it. God bless her cotton socks. I don't mind a visitor or two, though, so keep me notified. How many croaky old trees is that? About two by my count. I'm sure them visitors will be flocking from all over to see them. But the lucky buck gets it for free. Six more to go. Lucky you. Fortune favors the fortunate, huh, Buck? And fortunately, you get to find four more forest fossils. Keep at it. Maybe you'll find a nice one.
Two more now, Buck. I thought I saw my face in that last trace ago, but it was something old and gnarly. What do them Taurus see in these, huh? I ain't quite there yet. Guess they're like time capsules in their way. They keep something safe. There, Buck. I think there's a lot of history I want to preserve. My ma on a weekend helping me put together those model planes I loved. My pop's cooking. He was darn good at that. Shame all we're left with are these glassy trees. Wonder if there's something else this happy place, huh? Come on back. I'll be waiting. Around here, we like to do things the manual way. So if you could manually check the other stations while I manually sit here, that'd be swell. Now you're a quarter through them floaters. That tech sure is something else. Shame they can't check themselves yet. forecast yet? I was hoping to stretch my legs a little, but I couldn't read those robots if they paid me. Halfway through, tell me if you get yourself an inkling. Kid, I never could have dreamed I'd be working with robots. Don't worry, I ain't talking about you, Buck. Bleep, bloop, three quarters through. You're home and dry on them waterborne weather doohickeys. Not shabby at all. Come see me. That right there is a nasty hyacinth that'll put the whole park up the spout. Can you find me many more, Buckaroo? Everything is food for something, Buck, and these nasty hyacinths are no exception. Those beetles won't believe their luck. You're a quarter down. They're darn good at dealing with hyacinth. It's like fighting fire with fire, Buck. If I hated fire's guts. I've been making tiny napkins for all them beetles, Buck. Their table manners are atrocious. We're almost water highs in three. Just a quarter left. Well, that's the dinner bell for those nasty little creepy crawlies. Many more meals to make, Buck, so you get back to me when you're hungry. Seeds there. That's hound's tongue. Terrible toxic trash. Pick out some more and I'll wipe them out before anyone chows down.
Ideally, we'd be able to get to them while they're just rosettes, but there's far too much Golden Ridge for that. This is as good as it gets. You're a quarter down. These nasty weeds are supposed to feel like a little dog's tongue, but hell, they are a different kind of rough. Halfway through, keep it going. Watch that none of that house dung is taking a ride with you. That's how they spread, and I'd love to put an end to the lot of them. Speaking of which, you've a quarter left. And that's the lot of them. The next step is either chemicals or weevils, but it all starts with tagging them before they spread. Good work, Buckaroo. I thought so, orange hawkweed. I've had it up to here with them. And you can't see, but I've actually got my hand held real high. Go get rid of them so I can rest my arms, Buckaroo. You're making good headway on those hawkweed. This piece of work is aggressive like a mad dog and just as persistent when they get their teeth in. Quarter down, keep it running, buckaroo. Pop always said it's never nice to have to resort to nitrogen, and I think I finally get what he means. I'd love to nip them in the bud, but the buds aren't just buds before you know it. You're halfway through. Much like many things in this life, Buck, this is all about timing. Destroying these hawkweeds could leave some bees up the creek, and that's not something we want to do. Bees are my fuzzy buzzing partners, Buck, and because they're busy, we need to make sure they're not inconvenienced. Quarter to go, and then you're home. Sterling work, Buck. I'll pencil in the removal. The best time was yesterday, but tomorrow we'll just have to do. Come and see me. Not again. That's yellow toad flax. But what it really is is a pain in the keister. Seek and destroy with extreme prejudice, Buckaroo. You've seen a quarter of the plants now, but just one of them can produce 500,000 seeds. That would take more than a few buckaroos to get through. So let's chalk that down to worst case scenario.
I'll tell you, Buck, prevention would be far better than this extermination we're needing now. But from where I'm standing, that's just too hard. You're half down, half to go. If you cut them, they just grow back. These things need to be monitored and continually grubbed for results, Buck. You think it was hardly worth it until you see the damage they do. Just a quarter left. Sadly, getting rid of this toad flax now it's here is almost impossible. But it's an almost impossible job worth doing. Come see me when you can. Unmistakable color. That's a purple loose stripe if ever I saw one. These plants have me on my last nerve, buckaroo. Tell me where I can find them. The plan is to let these loose strife dry up and burn them down like hell's teeth. You've still got three quarters to go, so don't let up. Leaf-eating beetles would be the dream for getting rid of this purple plague buckaroo, but that's just one tool in the shed. We use them when we can and resort to burning when we can't. Halfway home, Buck. Just one of those plants you saw produces two million seeds a year, popping out that blight like filthy rabbits. Maybe this one's a job for the burner. You're three quarters through, Buckaroo, and doing swell. Now the table's set for a little loose strife cookout. Bring yourself some coleslaw or some mac and cheese, because I get peckish when I'm conflagrating. Leave the raisins at home, though, Buck. If it ain't good for no dog, it's no good for me. That's all the telltale signs of a bark beetle infestation. I'll notify the fire department that we got an at-risk area on our hands. That's a quarter of the bark beetle infestations tagged and ready to be bagged, Buck. You still got the bulk of the work ahead of you, but hey, if it ain't tough, it ain't worth doing. Sneaky, swarming, creepy, crawling little tree munchers got something coming to them. And that little something is called Clayton's Wrath. You're halfway done and I'm rip-roaring to go, Buck.
You're mowing through these bugs like no tomorrow, Buck. But you still got a quarter left. After that, well, that's when the real fun begins. Clayton out. fault they're hungry, Buck, but they increase the risk of wildfires, when unfortunately that's something I can't permit. I hate the scampering little life softeners with a passion, but it's a professional hatred, Buck. Come on home, I'll be there. Oh, as I live and breathe, another Douglas fir beetle infestation. Comb the area and see if you can spot more. Buck, those beetles sure are foul. Even seeing a quarter of them makes my skin crawl. Find me the rest and I'll send them packing. Seeing beetles was of no odds to me. Hell, I even kind of liked them. But after seeing what they do to my park, well, Mercy died that day, Buck. Halfway done. Creepy crawlies will be a fairy tale and two shakes of a lamb's tail, bud. Come see the exterminator. White pine blister rust. Oh, it's a daggone shame, but it's part of the job. Find me more if you can. It's like some joke. This blister rust is making a meal of Mother Nature, and it's some nasty meal, like quinoa salad or something. If it's born in the ground, it should stay there safe and sound. You're a quarter closer to just desserts, Buckaroo. If it ain't looked over a fence or been coated in chipotle cheese, I ain't touching it. This blister rust ain't some connoisseur like me, though. You've seen it munching down on poor innocent trees, and I won't stand for it. You're halfway through and doing the Lord's work. We've 
mapped out three quarters of all the blister rust I need from you, Buckaroo. Keep searching and I'll keep preparing. This rotten rust won't know what's coming. Now we know this blister rust better than it does. And that Sun Tzu fella was always saying you should know your enemy. Old Sunshine can't obliterate an invader like Clayton can. So come on home. We're going to war, and it won't be pretty. Mm -hmm.